Welcome gamers to June Imperium. We're going to be play, doing a solo run today. We're going to be playing a, a full board game version of it. We have to get into it pretty quickly. There is multiplayer, so you can play it multiplayer if you want to play online. There's tutorials, which we went through one of the tutorials in part one, which you don't need to be watching part one if you don't want to, but it does explain all the components on the board, etc., etc. Uh, the game releases on March 13th of 2024, so just next week or this week because I will probably upload this one just a few days out from the release of the game. It's actually currently available at time that this will be up, where it is uh, early access, so you can still access the, the game. The game rates an incredible 99% um, like, you know, approval in just the last month, and 95% over the, over the, light, the six months that it's been in, in early access. Incredible game. It's an amazing board game adaptation. Uh, if you've got the board game, I have read some questions that people have asked about, you know, is the AI good in the game? Is it, you know, is it just a dumb AI or is it, is it a really solid AI? And also, can you play as the solo way of playing the game? And the answer to both of those is yes, massively. Okay, let's go into solo play and I'll just show you what's available in here. Uh, you do actually have a skirmish mode, which you have to log into um, to be able to play that. So I don't know what's inside there. I haven't logged in in the game. You do have this incredible way of playing these challenges as well. And what these are is alternate rule sets uh, where there's different ways of sort of then doing different things in through here. So once you unlock like a, a standard, like a normal set, you then end up with these more complex versions of it. So you've got all these different alternate rules, which is really amazing. It's, um, it's astounding, actually. And I have looked at this, and it's, um, it's really intricate. Um, so there's so much replay in this game. <laughs> these are full games. These aren't just like little, you know, like 10-minute you know, scenarios. These are, you play a full game, but with a, with a different rule set. Uh, love it! I absolutely love it because I don't know. If, I don't think that that was part of the original game. I know that there's other stuff that the original game had added to it, but anyway, this is all new. By the way, welcome to my channel. My name is Daz Tactic. Please like and subscribe if you like this sort of content. I do cover strategy games a lot, and um, I do like board game adaptations a lot as well. And this is one of the most exceptional ones that I've seen. I've got to say, I'm, I'm really, really impressed. So, Die Wolf. The uh, makers of both the board game and the digital adaptation have done an incredible job here yet again. Uh, they do some incredible work, actually. Anyway, let's just go versus the AI. Uh, now, what we actually have through here, I'll start down the bottom here. You've got AI type. You can either play against AIs, where the, where the AI is actually thinking and playing like an actual player, or you can play with the House Hegel rule set, which is a way of playing solo in the board game. And so this one is actually now part of the game as well. I just see people sort of asking, can you play the solo mode? Yes, you can. Here it is. And you have different difficulty levels you can set up for yourself as well, if depending on how you want to play it. So you've only got the two, either normal, uh, where you're playing against AI. I'm going to play against the easy AI. Um, it, it, it's still very, very functional. It doesn't make stupid mistakes. So the, the difficulty for me, easy is actually for me, pretty good um, so I, I enjoy playing against the easy mode in this in this game uh, and it's not an easy beat I have lost to it by the way so you know it's sort of one of those things where in fact I've probably technically I've probably lost as much as what I've won uh, in reality with the way that the, the way the AI does play on easy mode so yes the AI is good you've got three levels of that when you've got uh, medium and hard as well uh, I don't know if the, I don't know what the differences are between them. But anyway, it'll be okay. Now you've got leader selection as well. The way that you then start your game. Standard means that there's like there's eight leaders that come with the actual pack. I think if they add D or C, there may be other leaders that may come in. You've got eight leaders from four different houses. So you've got four different houses. Not that they matter much because it's just player versus player. Uh, in a standard leader selection, two of the eight cards are, are distributed out to each player and then they choose which one they're gonna play from their hand. So they put one away and play the other one as their characters. You only have one character you play as. So that's standard. The next one across is uh, is draft, where you have, essentially you go in whatever order of play you are, you then get the first dibs out of all six or eight. I think it's six that randomly come in and you then have to choose which ones you wanna then get out of whatever's left or you then just go with random and you just get allocated a random start. Let's go with standard. We'll just go and create the game. I'm re-recording this. I, I recorded the first one. I didn't get to this stage of the game uh, last time until I was about 
20 minutes in. <laughs> That's not bad. Five minutes and we're getting the game actually started. Now, we've got two different leaders in through here. Uh, we actually have... Um, uh, I'm not going to show all... The, actually, maybe I should... Oh, damn it. I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to have to go back. We'll go back. We'll resign this one. Just go yes. I will. I do want to show you all eight leaders just, just for completion's sake. I'm going to go to the challenges. I'm just going to go and, and just going to go and start the game up just so you can see the selection. Uh, so this is the eight different leaders. You've got the uh, Duke Leto, Paul Atreides from House Atreides. You've got um, Blosu Raban and the Baron from House Harkonnen. You've got uh, Countess Ariana Thorvald and Earl Memnon Thor Thorvald, which I don't remember from the books at all. So anyway, they're from, from House Thorvald. And then you've got um, Helena Richies and also Count Ilben Richies as well from House Richies. Now, if you end up where you're fighting against Duke Leto and, and Paul Atreides, that's fine. You just play as in the game. That's all it actually is. So this is how this one does start. I, I will back out now. I just wanted to show you everyone oh by the way uh it's your I sort of show it back in the other one everyone has got a signet ring and a special ability so for example paul atreides get, gets to know what the top card of the deck is all at all times for his deck only for his deck uh he also when he does play his signet ring and everyone's got a signet ring they all have different things that come from the signet rings in paul's case you end up drawing the top card from your deck and adding it to your open hand uh for the beast raban if, depending if you've got a faction alliance or not, you end up getting one or two more garrison troops that you can then sort of use. This is the Brutality Signet Ring. And he also then has a special ability where he starts off with extra spice and solari, which is the money in the actual game itself. So they've all got different abilities. Um, they also have a ranking as to how difficult they are. These first four are considered to be fairly one-dimensional, fairly easy to play. The Duke Leto and Helena Richis has got, uh, they've got uh, a bit more complexity. And then finally the Baron and also Count S. Ariana are, uh, are more difficult. They're more comp complex to play, but rewarding to play as well. I haven't played as a Baron yet. I'm looking forward to doing that at some point, but it's probably one of these things I, I think I'd be wanting to practice before I actually show how to play as the Baron. So uh, I'm going to just go back at it from here. Resign. Yes. And we get started. So we're seven minutes in. Okay, so we're still we're going back a little bit. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the scope of what you can actually go and play as. Leave all that there. Create game. Who we're going to have as a choice. I do want to play as someone that we know from this from these shows. There's the Baron. Oh, I don't want to play as him. I'm just going to pause and, and just re re roll until we get um, someone that I that I can then explain. Either Duke Leto, um, the Beast, or um, or uh, Paul Atreides. All right, so we do have Duke Leto in here, so we'll go and play as him. Uh, he is considered medium complexity, which, but I quite like what he does. His special ability, he's got Landstrad popularity. So in the Landstrad portion of the board, uh, which is where you use the, um, you, you essentially just use the, the green pentagons for that particular part of the board. Sending an agent to a board space costs you one less Solari, so it's a little bit cheaper for us to use the Landstrad council and we also have prudent diplomacy so we gain one influence when a faction where the opponent has uh, sorry we at the cost of spice when we play this particular one one spice we gain one influence with a faction where an opponent has more influence than you so that's a good way for us to catch up we can just stay a little bit behind the others and just keep on moving up behind them uh, which is cool okay and unfortunately we get to go last in this case uh, so it's just this is random as to as to where you you will where you will be in the in the list just going to confirm that one. And so I went through the board in part one, like in a lot of detail. We showed one of the tutorials, which does a really good job of explaining what the board pieces actually are. The first thing we start off with is a, a random uh, skirmish. Now, the, the, skir the skirmish cards are divided into different... You can see there, it doesn't show it anymore, but it said like a, a Roman numeral number one, which means that this is the first phase of attacks, which are not usually all that great. You don't need to win these. They're not critical to the actual game itself. They become more powerful over the life of the game. So do we need it? We don't know. Um, we'll just see how we go. In the meantime, while I've been talking, the other two have played their first agents from in here. And so... Um, the uh, the beast Raban has actually played his into fold space, and so he's actually got to um, pick up another card. Uh, but we don't know what that is. Uh, he's only got four cards in his hand because they, they, you play a card to place an agent somewhere on the board, uh, and you need to have a card that then corresponds. Now uh, 
the Earl, uh, Thorvald, has also played a card to start to get some influence with the Fremen. So these guys are getting influence. Now, if we know that our special ability when we play our Signet card, which we can't see in here, by the way, what happens is, I'll just explain how the, the actual board game works with this. You end up with 10 starting cards, which are fairly weak in your hand. Some of them are okay, some of them are fairly weak. But in this case, um, you know, and the, we, we then um, shuffle them, put them out in front of us and have a look at our hand this is a hidden hand, the others can't see it. This is their hand, they've got four left. So we've got these different cards down through here in our actual hand itself. Uh, we also then have five left over in the deck. Now if I go and click on the deck, I can then start to see what I've got left in the deck. So what didn't come through is we've got one dagger card, we've got two of the Dune Desert, World, uh, Desert Planet cards, we've got one reconnaissance card, and there's our signet ring. And again, for the Duke, so we gain one influence with a faction where an opponent has more influence than us if we have spice. So we only and we, we're going to be getting this ring well next next turn at least. Like you know, this is going to be coming like out of the five cards that are going to be there, uh, the other cards will then be put in the discard pile for the next for the next turn, and then we'll have these five cards. So the signet ring will be in play, which would be a good one for us to to have a look at i think so we might actually uh we might keep that in mind this is where the game there's a lot of preparation you can do where you where you sort of know okay i know what's coming um next turn i know i'm going to get the signet ring so how can i make the best use of that i can play this into into a landsraad council which is the green uh the the green pentagon i can play it into one of the physical locations on arrakis in through here or i can play it either into the choam areas uh, and uh, and also into uh, or also into the um, uh, onto the mining operations on Arrakis. Now in the next phase, we're going to be second in turn. We're not, not we're third at the moment. We're going to be the second player in the next turn. Okay, let's just go and close that one. We have nothing in the trash. Sorry, in the discard pile. The trash pile is gone, and that we, we can remove cards from our hand. So in this case, we need to. Well, actually, we're a bit a bit stuck here. I was hoping to actually do something up in here. Um, in, or in here to get some uh, to get some spice, but we just can't do it. The only cards we have is a dagger card, which will allow us to pick up this one here, which doesn't cost any solari, or a, a like it, we've got a diplomacy or a seek allies, allies card, and this one here, I might play this card because we only get to play it once anyway. And God, I'm thinking. I was hoping to pick up Solari, but I can pick up the Emperor's Favor here. Um, but I'd need to somehow get need to get Spice, and we have zero at the moment. So yeah, we're going to be hopefully well, we should be able to pick up Spice in the next uh, in the next uh, turn before we then play the Signet card. So let's go and seek allies with the Emperor. That gives me two Solari. That gives me a bit of a start, and that's all we can do this turn. It's going to end our turn. We're not going to be competing for this one, I don't think. I, I can't really place anyone into any of the positions where I can fight. Uh, though the other, like all the fighting positions were taken. This is the cross swords. I don't have any. I don't have. I was very unlucky with this first roll, actually, in that sort of sense. Um, and I've got another diplomacy card, which um, I can't really play. So I'm going to go and. Just play it up in here, I think. Um, I've got five Persuasion, which is the, the diamond shapes at the bottom of the cards. I think I'll play the dagger up to there. It's pretty much the only thing I can do. I can play it there, where we draw another card. But if I do that one, so I draw a card, but I also then get another agent, which I can then play at the back end. This is like a Lancerad agent. If I do go to there, I can play one of the Solari and pick that one up. If it's a signet ring, um, I don't have any. I don't have any spice, so I don't want to do that one. I'm, I want to do this one here. I, I want to make sure that I don't accidentally pick up that signet ring because I don't know if that's the next card in the in the deck or not. Uh, so we now we've now got that one, and we now have four in our garrison, but we're still not fighting for for the for the planet. In fact, nobody is. So nobody actually put anything where they actually could. Well, this one could have actually. He could have actually taken this very very easily. And actually, so could uh, no, the um, the beast couldn't have done it. Now, what's happened here 
Yes, they've all gone through and used their points. We've got six uh, left over with with what we've got. We've got uh, two in through here for each of the persuasions. Then we have another one through here. If we go and click on this one, you'll sort of see that um, uh, if we reveal now, essentially we're going to have six points. This is what's available to us. We can pick up Duncan, Idaho, which is great. We can pick up a Sardaukar Legion. Now, the Sardaukar Legion really sort of works in with the Emperor, and we're going to be wanting to get the Emperor on side because that's going to be a big way for Duke Leto to be able to get his influence up. Um, yeah, so if the other ones we have... Yeah, Duncan would be good as well. Actually, to get the water, that's going to allow us to mine fairly effectively. I think I'm going to go and get... Uh, I'm going to do my reveal now. So now we've actually got five in through there, plus the extra one that we picked up by moving that dagger up into that other roll, into that other area. And so I'm going to bring Duncan down. I've got two more to then do after this. So as things come back through, we have Duncan Idaho, who can then, this will then just go into our discard pile. You'll see the deck over here. So we bring Duncan in. I think that's better than the Sardaukar Legion. Let's go and grab that one. So there's now one card in our discard pile. That's a Duncan Idaho card. We've still got two more points left. Now, don't just pick up cards unless you really need it, but in most cases, you're going to be wanting to do something. This one is a guild administrator where I can get, I can put them onto the guild locations. I can also play it into Choam as well with that, with that um, triangle. That one's not bad. We also have the Arrakis Legion. These you get, they, like you've got a big deck of these cards. If, if you draw one of these, you can always go and get stuff. They're worth two two persuasion if they're in your hand, which is actually fairly useful. Um, but getting rid of cards is also very very useful. So they're the two choices I have. I think I'm going to go with the Guild Administrator. So she's from the Spaces Guild, and that's all I can do. So that's it for my turn. So uh, nobody's fighting in this in this round. These get extra spice because no one mined it. Oh, here we go. Wow, this is a big one. So we want to try to claim this if we can. And there's our signet ring. Now we play, we go second. We've only got one. <laughs> only unfortunately, they, they, the the um, the beast went exactly where we wanted to go because that would have given us two, uh, two spice, or three spice at the time. So he's on four. God, we really need... Um, well, we need to be in the fight, and we don't have anything we can play on any of these this time. So we don't have any that have, uh, can go into the factions. We can still play them up into the Landsraad, and we can play them across into Choam, but we don't have enough, we don't have enough of anything to, to play them up there. So I think we're just going to have to take... Oh, God, what should we do? We want, to, we want to compete for this one, so I think we're going to have to just waste one of our turns here. The Signet Ring, we need we need Spice to be able to use that one effectively. It's still okay to use it, but um, let's go and choose this one here. If like, What will happen? I'll just explain what's going to happen here. We've got nothing left in our deck. We've got six cards left in our discard pile, and we need, if we play, if we play this card, uh, any card into this into this one here, Arakeen City, we draw a card, but we don't have any cards. So what happens is they shuffle the deck. We may we may pick up something to help us a little bit. Um, well, maybe not now actually. Yeah, it won't it won't help us yet. Um, yeah, maybe I'll I might still do it because what's these are all going to get discarded. They're going to do a full reshuffle after this. So it'll be 11 cards in our hand. I'm not making much sense, but that'll be something that will be important. Or we go this way. We can still compete. And we also can get an Intrigue card, which stays with us for the whole time. So I think I'm going to go in and play that one there. Um, I'm going to play the Reconnaissance card to that one. Unfortunately, we have no spice to spend. Now, this is a council's, uh, Councillor's uh, Dispensation. If you, have a high, uh, if you have a seat on the High Council, which is this one through here... We haven't got that yet, but we want to aim for that. That's our first priority, really, is to get to that one through there. We can play this card and get two spice. So we can actually extract spice from the High Council, but we can't play it yet. Now, we can start to deploy troops. The Beast has got six in there. If we, it, like, It'd be great to come first, but um, 
if we can't come first, we do actually have the dagger card, which we can't really play anywhere. Um, I can play it to there as well. Just trying to think of how we can do this. I think I'm going to put in as many trips as I can. So I'm going to play this this one into here. One, two, three. I can't do any more than three. That way we're even. I've got two in reserve. He's got one in reserve. But I don't know if he's got special... Like, I don't know what his intrigue card will be. We'll go and confirm that one. So we're now both vying for second place. But I would love to try to get first place. So I'm going to end my turn there. So this is the... This is essentially the uh, the round or the phase. You know, he's gone with um, fold space. Uh, he's played dagger. Unfortunately, that takes him up one extra. He's now got two. Now, he, the, actually, no, he played the dagger, so the dagger's not in his hand. If I keep the dagger, I end up with one more. That will take me to seven. If I play the signet ring. Now's not the time. It's still not the time. If I play to here, I can play both of these. And so that will take me up to 10. I do want to get these influences with the emperor. Um, or even with the spaces guild, actually. Probably the spaces guild as much as anyone. Or the Fremen, even. Hmm. Yeah, so we can choose two. One each. So I do want to win this. I do want. I do re actually really want this one. Um, I can go there and deploy the two legions I've got. I can go there, get an extra legion, extra card. Um, I can't play into either one of these because I don't have the, the what we need. So I think I'll play... That's only worth one. That's I'm, I'm going to play the signet card so I can at least have one more added to my score. I'm going to play that into here. And now I, I get to draw another card. So I sort of have to do that one. So I, I don't actually gain one influence, but I, don't, I can't spend it. So that's gone. Convincing argument. So that's another two for us. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, we'll deploy our troops. I'm going to put all three in. So we're now up to 12. That should stop him. I hope. Because we... Um, okay, we'll end our turn. I've sort of may, I may have overplayed this. Oh wow, he picked up the uh, lot of spice there. Now what's he going to grab? He grabbed another Sardar Car Legion. That's a shame. Well, here we go. We've got um, we've got Liet Kynes. He wasn't in the movie, and has been race swapped. <laughs> So uh, anyway, we'll go and uh, reveal. There's nothing else we can do here. So we're going to reveal our cards to the... Uh, we're coming second. And we get the extra point there. So we're going to definitely win this this one here. I, as I say, I probably should have left something back in reserve. But uh, I, did want to, I do want to get this, um, this influence. So um, who should we grab? Should we grab... No, we've only got four points, unfortunately. So we can't grab Liat. Um, we've got Space Travel with the Spaces Guild, the Benny Gesserit Alliance. This one here is a Reverend Mother. I like the idea of that one, actually. I'm going to grab that one. Worth a lot of points, a lot of persuasion points. Goes into our discard pile. So we know what we, the five decks, the five that are in there are going to be um, are going to be what ends up getting played. There's more cards in through there now. Spaces Guild. Okay, well, um, we now pass um, with what we're doing. Now, is he going to bring anything into the fight? No, we won the fight easily. Too easily, actually. I've wasted garrisons on securing this one. And second place wasn't bad for us, to be honest. Uh, machinations choose two factions to gain one influence with so I do want to get um, I do want to use the Fremen so I'll get the Fremen up and I'll also go and grab maybe maybe the Emperor again or even the uh, Spaces Guild 
would be a good one for us to um, to use. It just means we need a lot of spice to make good use of that one. Maybe the Emperor. We'll go the Emperor. So we'll confirm that one. That's going to give us one victory point. That'll be the first victory point. That one comes through. And um, so he gets water and, and uh, some, some uh, Solari. So now we're playing for a, another victory point and also some water. But now we're a little bit behind in terms of, of what we can do with our power. I'm now going to I'm going to have to ignore this one and just go and focus on what we can do and try to get this. So we have a dagger which we can then go and do. Um, I do actually have the guild administrator. I can play up into here and pick up three Solari and then I can go and get the uh, the seat on the high council. So um, we also have Duncan as well. Now we go first so maybe I really should should really use this here. So Duncan, at the cost of one of our waters, will then give us more that we can do. If we leave him in our hand at the end, we do get more attack strength, two more attack strength plus one extra water, which would be extremely useful. Um, I can send this one out to mine here as well, the administrator, and pick up a couple. If we do this, we, we lose our the opportunity to grab this one now. I think I think I, I'm going to have to give this up. Let's just go this way and pick up the, um, the the Solari that we need, and then next turn we'll then go and do something else. Oh, by the way, when we play that card, we can then go and, and uh, remove one of our other cards. Now the cards that we want to remove are actually probably not all that surprising. This um, we can't do it. We can do it from our hand. The daggers I sort of like the idea of because even though these are the, amongst the weakest of the cards, they do get us up into the Landstrad Council to be able to then go and do things because it's going to cost us less. But I think I might get rid of one of the dagger cards. Um, you just go back into into a discard pile. Also, these June the Desert Planets cards are um, not going to be all that useful to us. I might even get rid of one of them. Yeah, it's a bit of a, um, and so, sometimes the reconnaissance cards you may not need, but we don't have very many ways of breaking into the um, the blue circles. So I think I'll get, get rid of this one here, just because I think I'm going to be using these Landstrad Council attacks a lot. So we'll end our turn there. So that that was happened because we played this administrator with the, you know, got rid of the cards there. I'm not really having a close look at what these guys are doing. I should really be doing that. He picked up another, he played the Sardaukar Legion up in there and picked up an extra agent, so a Landstrad Council agent. That doesn't worry me too much. Now we do actually have, um, I can now play the Dagger card up in here and get a seat on the High Council. So I think I'll go and do that. We're not competing for this anyway. With his extra agent, he should then go and do something with this. So we now have a seat on the High Council. And that gives me extra persuasion. Yep, he's competing fairly heavily. Use the voice to block something off. Yep, he's blocked off this one. Not that anyone could go there anyway. Okay, we'll now reveal. So we actually have five points. What do we have? We have Liat Kynes we can actually go and pick up now. Um, that would be good. That would be good, I think. Yeah, so two for each Fremen card you have in play, including this one. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Okay, we'll reveal. We also, we also have um, Power Play. Gain two influence instead of one, but when we trash the card... Um, we're going to be able to catch up a little bit once we play the Signet Ring. So I think we'll go with Liet, Liet Kynes in through here. Now we, we're going to have to start to focus on getting Fremen cards. If we can get more of these, it means that with her and these cards, we're going to be getting a lot of persuasion ultimately. So we'll go that way. She goes into our discard pile. We now shuffle the cards that we have. We'll end our turn. It's that we've got 12 cards. It then gets shuffled up for the next next phase. These guys are fighting. He got seven. Did the beast get to add anything else? Let's have a look and see. He's still got one more card to play. 
He's gone into here to fold space, and he's now got a victory point in through here. So everyone's now on one victory point. See, it's, even on easy, it's not that easy. He's revealed his cards. He got five points as well. He picked up uh, space travel, and he also picked up spice, uh, the space um, smugglers. There we go. There's Stilgar. He'd be a good one to pick up. He's with five. We, unfortunately, we go last in the next phase, so we're not likely to pick that one up. So the um, the Earl Memon actually won that one, but Glossy did pick up some other loot. And we're still struggling with our lack of spice. So we need to really try to focus on this. Okay, in this case we end up with a um, with another agent to play, essentially just for one turn, uh, a, a, a hidden card. So first or second would be would be great. Wow, I've had enough to play in there. That's that's massive. So he's really enhanced his abilities, and he's he's going at all out win here. I think I'll just compete for second for second place. He's picked up a heap of cards, so he's going to be definitely buying uh, Stilgar, unfortunately. So we won't, we won't get much of a chance for that one. We can still do the same sort of thing. We've got two. We can get. We can start to get our spice in through here at this stage. Um, now the signet ring. I don't have any spice just yet, and I don't have anything other than the signet ring to play there. Oh, what a pain! What a pain! Now we've got the Sea Reverend Mother. I can play that into the still suits, or I can play it into here as well, the Hardy Warriors. I've got two of these waters. Actually, I can yeah, I can play that one in there. Again, I don't get the benefit, but I do get a lot of spice in one go. So maybe I'll play the signet ring to there. That way I can start to sell the spice. We gain one influence. Actually, oh, I can now do it. By doing that, I get the spice. So I've now got the spice. And I can gain one influence to the faction where the opponent leads. Great. Okay, we're playing the signet ring as it should be played. And so in this case, um, we're behind over here. We're behind here. We're behind here as well, actually. We're only ahead, really, with the emperor. So I'm going to go and push up. I think I'll push up the uh, Fremen. And we'll confirm that one. So it's a nice little way for us to start to pick things up. That gives us another another point. Uh, we'll end our turn there. Um, and we can pick up. Yeah, we can pick up. Actually, I could have done that as well. I can pick that, play that at any time. But anyway, this gives us a little bit of extra spice, which will allow us to play this card and then get a heap of Solari next turn. Um, because we'll have five. So we'll end our turn here. We'll end our phase anyway. Yeah, playing space travel. The Duncan Idaho, which I don't want to play. Oh, actually, I can't. I need a triangle to be able to play up into there. In this case, I will actually go and now play. So this is now we're coming. We're the last player in here. We have a fair few things that are actually uh, viable for us. So I can play into this one and actually pick up a bit of water. I can play that one and also pick up water. And either one of these will allow me to com to compete. But I've got nothing to really compete with. So I think I'm just going to leave that. Um, I can also play it into there and pick up another Intrigue card if I wanted to. Which wouldn't be bad either. Um, that one there I think is by far... This one gives us more influence as well, which I would like to get. So I think I'll actually take the influence here. And just start to get a bit, a bit of water as well. So we're now a little bit ahead in the Fremen, in the Fremen race as well. Um, that's all we can do. Actually, we, uh, when we play that card, we then get to destroy one of our other cards. This is in our hand. That's the play area. So this is um, play area we have. We don't want to get rid of either of those. Oh, hang on, that's empty. I'm going to get rid of Reconnaissance. It's not really worth a lot to us. The less cards we have, the more, the, the more powerful the cards are that then get shuffled through. So we'll end our turn there.
yeah, we can't. We have can only do it from the played cards. That's another thing we have to be careful of. It would have been nice to have had that one, but we're just not going to be able to do it. Wow, look at the reveal here. Got the Reverend Mother. And another another of the Fremen, the Fremen groups as well. If we wanted to sort of see what's going on as well, we can have a look at the um, at each player and just sort of see um, you know what, what what do we know about them, like what they've discarded, etc. So we can sort of see exactly what the, you can start, start to sort of make things so you can sort of figure out what's going on. Um, then the beast as well. It's um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. And if we have a look at this one as well. As you know, there's nothing else we can do there. I thought we could. I think there's another way we could actually look at the cards. Anyway, it's a it's the user interface is very very cool the way it actually does work. Okay, so all we can do is reveal. We got um, we don't really make any. We got uh, only four points in total. Two from this one. Two from that one. So we'll make the reveal. So we get extra water from, uh, and we're not in the fight, so we don't get to compete for anything in through there. So with the four, we have, um, now I want to get more Fremen cards. Actually, there's Stilgar, I just can't get him, which is a shame. Uh, I can get two of these Arrakis Legions, and I think that that's going to be the way for us to go. Um, yeah, if you have another, Bene uh, you have another hand Bene Gesserit card in play. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit risky for us to do that one. Let's go with two Arrakis Legions. All right, that's, um, we'll end our turn there. And he's doing well. Next objective is for us to get to the Swordmaster. I think we go second this turn. Okay, we're now getting into higher, supposedly higher level um, uh, cards in through here. Um, okay, he's gone up to there, drawing more cards into his hand. He's trashed during the desert planet. Okay, that's interesting. Now we've got two water. Um, I can actually play this one and get. Uh, well, actually, I can play it into there and sell all of this, all of the uh, spice that I have, which I'm going to do. I'm going to play that card. That gives me five spice. I'm then going to play this card. That's you play that at any time. And it's still my turn. I'm then going to go up to this one here, and I'm going to sell um, five. That's as much as we can get. That gives me thirteen Solari. We'll end our turn. We're not really competing with these with these uh, fights just yet, but we will be able to very very soon. And then we'll make our big comeback. So the others are on three victory points. We're on two, but we haven't been fighting for them. All right. So the next one we have, we've only got one that can then be played into. Actually, I need to play into this one here. So I've only got one card. This is the dagger card. That can be played into this. this is why I wanted to keep the dagger card so I can play these. So of the thirteen that we actually have in Solari, seven of that will then go and that will give us an extra agent, which we can play this current turn of the game. Uh, so we just have to end our turn here, and that will give us a big advantage because we're going to have three every single turn now. We'll have three agents in play, and we now have to start to focus more heavily on the um, on getting up to here and we have one more that we can then go and play so we can go and play uh, the diplomacy card um, actually I could go in, into fold space as well which will give me the fold space card which allows me to sort of put it anywhere I like but then we, we, we draw another card and then we it trashes that card it's a good card to get but I think I want to go and, and actually take the, get the alliance with the Fremen right from the start. I could do it also with the Emperor, but I think with the Fremen is going to be the important one for us. So let's go and use the, um, the Diplomacy card in here. 
It uses up two of our water. Oh, sorry, one water. We now have the first one into here. We get a, we get another victory point by coming up into this side, and we then then pick up extra water. So we've got water in through there. Uh, we'll end our turn there. And again, we are not really competing for any of this stuff. Actually, no one's competing for this, which is interesting. Yep, so there's no one... Actually, no, they, they're both fighting in this in this area. We now actually have a couple of garrison troops for the future. So we only have, we have five points. There's uh, Thufa Hawat, who will give us... If we keep him in our hand, if we play him, we, we get to draw another card. He's a good one, actually. I think I'm going to grab him. This is an Emperor Sadokar Legion. Again, it's a nice one to be bringing in to a conflict, to be able to bring in three troops. But let's go and play this one in here. Let's grab him in for our deck. We'll end our turn. Now we're going to be the first player in the next phase. So the next phase we have the big advantage. Now they're going into the combat phase. They both have got equal, so they just pick up two uh, two spice each. Yep, so they both came second. Now, victory plus, we now have one where it's going to be taking over. This is going to be the siege of Arakeen. This is Arakeen in here, the city. If basically with the siege, when you get the siege uh, cards coming up, uh, if you claim this one, uh, like if you actually win this particular fight, and we might as well go for it, I'm guessing now. Uh, just actually, who have we got? We've got Leah Kynes. We don't have any other. It would be great to get this here. We get to go first. If I play Duncan Idaho now, I can then start the fight. If we play it, at the cost of one water though and it cost me two water to bring him into that particular location if I move him to there for the cost of one water I would, see I want to get more cards on the f on the field uh, so I can actually sort of win some more of these but let's not rush it there's nothing much in there do we want the Sada car like we've got 11 points right now actually we're going to end up with a fair 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 bit the Fremen bond. Oh, hang on. That's a Fremen. That's a Fremen. We end up with a lot, a lot of points here. So if I keep them without playing them, if they, if if I play three other, well, actually, I'm going to have to play something else. I need to get another card. So I'm going to, I'm going to be dunking across into here. We're going to compete for this because we've got three, we've got three agents now. They've only got two. This is where you know playing against the easy mode does make it a little bit more advantageous. Why, why can't he move there? Ah, because he's not a, he doesn't have the Fremen ability to do that. In that case, um, I think we're probably better off going there and getting extra water and an extra troop. Gives me three water, which I can then play again in the future. Um, and uh, we can then we can then play this card. So for the cost of one of our waters, we can then get a troop plus an extra card coming in. So we'll go and do that. Let's just see what we end up getting. We've got the Guild Administrator. Okay, this is one that we can play on the triangles. We can now start to deploy our troops. We've got four troops. We only only deploy three. I will deploy all three at this stage. I think confirm that one, and then we'll try to pick up some more troops. And I can pick up four from here. Uh, that's all we can do this turn. So we'll end our turn there. There's a lot of intricacies in this game, which is fantastic. It's so well done. It's an astoundingly good game. Yeah, they've done a. Um, yeah, they've actually gone and grabbed. They had an extra, extra agent as well, in this instance. Okay, so we have 
these two, I want to keep these because you know we're running at twelve points at the moment. This one gives only gives us a, give me one point. But this one here, if I play that into here, I can then bring in even more troops, a lot more. I can I've got fold space if I move it across to there. I can also move that one across and even pick up. I can pick up that one if I wanted to and get a heap of spice. Hmm, and um, and then also deploy more troops. Now I can I can pass sort of at the end. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, which way should we go? This one I can get rid of yet another one of my cards as well, which would be actually good. We've got a lot of cards in our deck now. Um, I could play him. We're really only into these these locations. It's going to cost me two water to get the four there. I sort of feel that this is probably going to be our best option. And we're six ahead of everyone else at the moment. And we still got two to play. So let's go in and play... Well, yeah, let's play the dagger up into here. Now, that one's not a combat card, but we do end up with getting four garrison troops. We'll end our turn there. See if these actually pick anything up. He's still got two more to go as well. Yeah, they're going to be playing out into here. Now, I sort of was hoping that I would have got that one, but that's okay. Yeah, he's he's competing now. And he's played the dagger card. He's gone for the high council, so now the beast is also going to be getting extra points. And we can... Um, I can play that card into there, but I want to keep these together because I've got so many points in my hand. Um, the Guild Administrator. I can play it to get this card for my hand. I then get to, to remove a card, or I can go into here and pick up four. I think I'll I think I'll play it here. It gets rid of all of our water. We now have four spice. And we can, because we've done that one, we can deploy troops as well. I'm going to, um, well, I've got to, in the phase that we have, when we deploy troops, we have to basically do it in this phase. We, we can't, we don't get another shot at doing this. Now, we're only four ahead. I want to be six ahead. So I want to deploy two more. In fact, that's all we can do at this stage. So we'll confirm that we're up to 10. Now, if they've got like an ambush or something like that, which gives them another five cards, they still only get up to seven. He's got five cards in his hand. He's only got one of those. Uh, the beast is not really competing. It's really just between the two of us. So I'll confirm that. And then I still get to discard another card. Now, this is in my hand. In my discard pile, I've got nothing. In the play area, I'm going to get rid of the dagger card. Um... I, I want to get the... If I get rid of this card, I end up be, being on nine points, which allows me to get another victory. Yeah, I can do that. Because I've got the two Fremen cards with Liet Kynes, that sort of does allow me to get rid of this Convincing Argument card, which I can't play. So uh, I'm down to nine, and that will be how we end up, and that will be enough for me to grab this one. The extra two points won't really matter this, in this this particular phase. It's so much. It, it's very advantageous to be able to do this. If we had special cards, we'll see what they play. Yeah, so we, I'm, I'm sort of missing a lot of what they're doing. We can always bring this one up to look at the action log to see what they actually get to do, but we won't worry too much about it. They've acquired. They've got three Sardaukar legions now. Wow, he's actually, that could really work in his favour. So for the siege, we now just reveal, basically. So we reveal, we've got in nine points. Wizard's going to give us one more action, one more. Um, uh, so the spice must flow. We basically, when we draw this one in, we just, we pick up one more spice. And we also then go and, and get um, one of the, uh, one more victory. I don't think, is there anything else we would really want? They're all just Bene Gesserit's. So we'll play this card in here. 
So it doesn't go into our deck, I don't think. Um, and so we now have four. We're still one behind this one. We should win this. We'll end our turn. They've revealed their cards. They had five. They did have three. They're up to five. If they play a, um, if they play an ambush card, and they've only got one card in there. But if the, if the if the secret card, oh, damn it, it's an armed armada. They've got um, so they've actually now taken their lead. They've gone from from to twelve. So we take second place. Well, so you see, this is easy. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. So he's done incredibly well there. Wow, what a what a what a play! I'll explain what happened there. Um, so he's now gone to six victory points with that. I was, I assumed I was going to get that and I was going to level where we are. It's, it's up to ten where, where we are. This is two victory points. We're now into the the third phases now of the actual sorts of combats. So uh, we're now this is now worth an awful lot. We've still got three. He's got two. We need to win this. And this is the battle for the Imperial Basin, which is. Which one is it? This one here. Um, now, yeah, the others. I'll, I'll just go through and show. We 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 play third, unfortunately. It allows us to have the last place, but it's still not going to be great. So if we go back across and have a look and see what actually happened at the end of that last phase, this is round seven. If we have a look and see what he played, so. Um, Took, he took his reveal turn uh, and he got five points, but he had three extra combat that could then be added in. Now, remember, he only had two at that stage. So the extra two that get bring him up to five. And so he then, um, during the Desert Planet, yeah, so he actually had, that was actually how he got his five points. Uh, he acquired gene manipulation, which doesn't really matter that much. And he also acquired another Arrakis Legion, which we've been acquiring them as well. He then actually played, uh, so Memon's the Thorvald combat strength is set to five because of the three that he had in, in amongst his stuff. So then, he, um, then we reso re resolve the siege with us ahead, with us on five and him on ten. He then plays his secret card, his one secret card, which happens to be an allied armada. And so this one is one where the um, if you have an, if you have a faction alliance and um, and he does have a faction alliance with the Spacers Guild, he can then play that card. So if he has a faction alliance and he pays two of his heaps of spice, he can then go and actually play this card and bring in seven uh, combat strength, which is what he did, and that that gave him the win. And so. He gets control of Arakeen, so control of this. He's now control of this one. Anyone who plays a card to that one there, will then give him uh, extra bonuses as well. So this one here, it's the control marker in through there. So he he gains a, a Solari every time anyone plays on that particular location, which isn't 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 massive. And then we're into the actual next phase. So you can always just have a look back and see what the history was of actually how you how you lost the game, and we're, we're likely to lose this one as well by the looks of things. Now, this is our first turn. We've got three turns to play. I need to get more water. Um, who have I got? I've got a Fremen Legion in through there. Oh, like, sorry, Fremen Liaison. I've got two of them. I've got Thufir, who if I do play it, if I, if I leave him in my card, I get a secret, a secret card. I'm not playing enough of the Bene Gesserit, so we've sort of gone too far behind there. I wouldn't mind if I if I get up into here I get even more garrisons. But I need to start to compete. I need to compete for this one here. These are great because they do give me the ability to take like rallies at the expense of some of the Solari that we actually have. Um, I've got three three plays I can do. I'll get one extra combat card in through there. That one's not really going to do much for us. The Arrakis Legion. Um, do we want to raise this? I can play him anywhere, really. I need to get the water. Um, now we're already ahead in terms of our, our relationship with the uh, with these guys, so I don't really need to push this side anymore. It is more this side. We do have, that'll give us four if we play into there. Let's go and do that. <clears throat> so that gives me four to play. I can now deploy the troops. I'll 
deploy all three. We'll confirm that one. And if no one takes this, I'll, I'll claim that card as well. Um, in turn. Ah, oh, damn it, he took it. Okay, exactly what we wanted. He's played his signet ring. Now he's going to get more troops. He's only got three. We need to somehow get ourselves a, a secret card. I can play some in here and get a secret card. It'll give me Solari and also more troops. But I can't then play them. And he's now ahead of me. So if I play Thufir into here, I get more. If I play the dagger card up to there, I lose one extra. So I'm on seven to his eight. But if I go and claim this one using this this card here, I'm on seven points at the moment. Again, thinking ahead, is there anyone that any, none of those we really need? So let's go and play this one up into here uh, and grab the extra troops. Oh, hang on, no, but that doesn't allow us to then position troops. We need to go with something like this. And unfortunately, we don't have the water to play that one. Um, yeah, God, we're back. We are back in here, which does give which gives this guy an extra, an extra Solari, but that's OK. I think we'll have to just do it. Um, we need to we need to be competing for this one. I can position Thufir into actually if I, if I keep him in my hand, I, I end up with getting a, a secret card. Um, which I may have to try to rely on, I think. Let's go and play this one here. It allows us to then position... Um, we've got our signet ring in as well for the next one. So we'll go and deploy troops. Just go all out. And end our turn. Yes, he's, they're now, everyone's now got a seat in the council, so um, we're still the only one that's got the extra move, though. Okay, okay, okay. Um, everyone's now revealing. And we're the last one to reveal, so it's going to be interesting to see when we get into the battle phase whether we'll know what, what we're up against, basically, with whether we've got it won or not. We still have... We still have these that we can play. Now, we don't have any more troops. The Signet Ring... Okay, one influence with a faction where an opponent has more influence than you. For the, and we do actually have... We can do this one. So now's a good time for us to do this. And really, the only place we can sort of play it would be to go and get more here, maybe. But we can't then play it. If we go to there, we've got nothing to play anyway. So, actually, no. I, still, I can bring I can bring him across there, but no. I'm going to I'm going to have to play it into one of these. What should we do? What should we do? It's been four. Um, get another ten Solari, which we don't really need. See, the other option is to play Thufir up to there. And get our special card that way and hope that that actually wins for us. Let's do that. So we've only got one spice left. It does give us this, but we can't deploy it. Okay, that then gives us the ability to... Um, uh, this one here, was that one? Acquire a card. Oh, okay. Uh, so acquire a card that costs three uh, or less or spend two and get one that's five. So nothing we can do in combat, unfortunately. Um, the extra card we drew was during the Desert Planet and we then go higher up. And so we now take another victory point and we now actually get two more troops. So we're now up to four, but we can't deploy them. So we've got to hope that, um, that the beast doesn't have any special cards that he can play. He's got two in his hand. And I'll bet you he's got them. He's, I bet you got some sort of ambush or something. So we now reveal. We're on six points. Um, should be nice to get Lady Jessica. 
Oh, hang on, there we go. We did actually have a bit, little bit extra with that uh, combat card that we had. So with the dagger, we get one point to help us with this. So we've gone to 11, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think. I'm assuming he's got like an ambush card or something in there. Uh, so we've got six points to, six points to play with. Um, yeah, this is a, a Chris knife, which um, improves the, the Fremen bond if it leaves, if it remains in our car in our hand. I'm going to grab that because any Fremen cards we have ultimately are good when we bring them back in. Now the um, We've sort of been playing with uh, heavy, heavily with the Fremen cards. I'm going to go and grab another liaison. And that's all we can do. So we'll end our turn. Okay, well, I think all we can do, we're now into the combat phase. Yep, pass to continue combat, so you have, have no cards to play. Please have nothing. Oh, that's oh, great, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, so this is this is awesome. Um, he didn't have any cards that he could play. So that works out very, very well. So we go to seven, we're now equal. Uh, back in through here with the victory points. This one now goes to four. And so this one is now becoming even more powerful again as well. We've got another two victory points, which would take us up to nine. Um, now we, we have to reshuffle our deck. So one card will come out, there'll be a reshuffle. And we have Liat Kynes again which is giving us nine points right now. Which um, means that any other Fremen cards we can bring in is going to be worth a lot more to us. So we have two for each Fremen card you have in play, including this one. So by keeping her in our hand, uh, we end up essentially getting the... Um, the, um, the this Arrakis, Arrakis Legion is worth four. So if we have a look at the actual points itself, uh, we've got... Um, Oh, sorry, it's not showing our cards. If I go click on everything, just close that one. Uh, can we look at it this way? No, I don't think we can do it. Anyway, the, the reveal, we don't want to do reveals yet, of course, because we want to, we want to now compete for this one as well. Now, we've, we're actually a little bit ahead of the others, but we need to start to pick up some of these sort of cards in here. So this is important to us. Um, the signet ring we can play whenever we like. But do we want to try to get this one? And so I want to keep these two in, in my hand. I can play Duncan Idaho. That will then, if I leave him in my hand, I get water plus two more combat strength. Which, um, yeah, I don't get to, I don't get to play combat and I need to, I need to get, do the combat here. So, Signet Ring can be played there, for example, or there. This one here gives him extra extra money, which we don't want to be doing that one. This one gives me probably more what I'm looking for at this stage. Although, if I look at Duncan Idaho, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to play him. I've got to, I've got to play three cards. It's got to be diplomacy. So maybe I don't worry too much about taking either this or this one. If I get the water, I can then take this one. So if, I, if I play that one for the for water, I get extra stuff. I've only got one water anyway. Ah, oh boy, which way do we do it? So we pick up water. To still, I still end up on one water. If I play diplomacy, no one's got four secret cards in their hand. God, it's it's, a, it's a very it's very very complex. It's actually really cool. Uh, you know the the intricacies of the game. I hope I've actually done a good enough job of explaining how to how to play the game, because uh, there's a lot to consider. Like when you're actually sort of trying to think of it, it's it's reasonably fast, but it's it's actually very very clever. Because um, I know I want to keep these in my hand. I don't know if I can shuffle them around. No, I can't. Um, I would love to get this. But I would also love to get the extra stuff from that one. If I play this one into here, I then pick up another um, another water. I might do that with a view to even picking up these. It does allow me then to deploy troops. So I'm going to go and deploy everything, or as much as I can, just the two. 
So we'll end our turn. Okay, he's played his signet ring. Oh, he's taken the, the extra cards, unfortunately, so he's going to be able to pick up Lady Jessica. Now, the, um, the Beast has now got a third uh, agent as well, unfortunately. Um, all right, so that then gives us two water to play. And unfortunately, I've really wanted that one for, with Duncan. So I now need to use Duncan somewhere else. I can really only use it there. Oh, you know, I should have waited. I can always undo. Do we want to undo? Yeah, I've still got two. I have to use him anyway. So look, I might as well use it in here. And uh, we'll just go and spend the water and pick up another card. Ah, oh, that's cool. We've now got three. This is good. We've got 14 points on the actual board. And we've got, um, and I'll deploy as many as I can into here, confirm. And it's going to take me up to nine and then 10 for the win. So we should be able to win this turn. If we win this. Now what will Thor will do? Okay, he's played where he can't put any more troops on the board. The beast is the only one that can actually really try to do anything with us. Now he's played space travel which gives him a heap, <laughs> but he can't play them all. He can only play three, but he's up to 10. He's up to equal with us, actually. So now he's played five, wow. Okay, now we have to play um, even more. So we've only got one more left. He's got three more left, but that was, a, that was his last shot at, it, at this. Um, I need to win this. I must win it. So I really have to play where I've got combat, where I can actually add to the combat. If I go and play the Signet Ring, the Signet Ring can be played anywhere through any of these. I can play it to there and pick up another secret card and hope that we get something like an ambush or something. I can play it to there where I get another troop and another card. But let's go up to here and just hope like hell that the Signet Ring, and I can, I can then go and um, I can do a lot of different things here. I can gain one more influence. Now, is there anything else that's gonna give me another victory point? No, there's not. I've got victory points there. I've got victory points. So I need to get this one up into here, or into, or this one into the Bene Gesserit. Okay, let's go and uh, let's go let's go and claim one for the Bene Gesserits. So the signet ring is that's what we just did there. So that one now moves up to one. Again, if I can just get to there, I'll get victory. But I, if I can get this win, I then win this, and it's all going to come actually demand respect. Yeah, we can get um, when you win a conflict. So we can play that to win the game, actually, if we win the conflict. But if we win the conflict, we win the game anyway. So up to 14, we'll confirm that. That's all we have. The Beast Raban, may, uh, can he do anything? We, it's only gonna come down to what, it's, what he's got in his hand. Now, he's only got two intrigue cards. I'm assuming that he's that they're the two that he had before, which he didn't play. Now he gets to reveal his cards. Now he took a victory point, so he goes up to eight. We've got thirteen in our hand, remember. Now he's revealed his. He got one extra. He's up to eleven. Okay, okay, okay. He took Lady Lady Jessica. It's our turn. He's on five points. He's on eight. We're on seven. Now, he's also competing for this. Now we have to reveal our hand, and then we go into the combat phase. But we don't have anything we can do in the combat phase. So the thing we must do is we must take this one, of course. So we take that one with all the points we actually have. That's because of Liat Kynes. Uh, we've still got four points left over. And I'm thinking we just go with, we've got a Rackus Recruiter. We don't get the, these, these just end up in our discard pile for this turn. That one's worth four points. We're not really using the Spacers Guild. The Fremen have been very, very good. Um, 
it would be awesome to get this. But um, I'm just going to grab two more of these. So we're using Fremen just in sort of basics in a basic sense. Okay, we'll end our turn there. Now we go into the combat phase. Oh wow, he's passed. Okay, and this is it really. And so we do win the game now. We're on eight. Oh, hang on. Great. Okay, there we go. So fourteen. Uh, we got. We had fourteen against his eleven. He didn't have the cards um, that uh, you know that we that. Oh, hang on. Um, what do we get here? Choose two. Hang on, what is that? Oh, sorry. No, that's. A, I don't know what the choose two is. Anyway, we're just going to continue. That gives us ten points. And oh, now we can actually do this one here. So, um, and again, I can just cement. Like, if anyone ends up on equal points, then essentially you, um, I, do, I can cement the the uh, the game by doing this, and just going up one more with the Bene Gesserits, which give me eleven points. So that one goes up. We're now eleven. And uh, that's good. Okay. Victory. There we go, guys. I <laughs> come from behind win. That was really cool. That was it's such a cool game. It's not too long to, to show this one off. So 11, 8, 5. And that's on easy. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, easy is my level on this game. So it's, but it's, um, but the easy is not, it's not like it's, even though you win as much as you lose, or I do anyway, uh, it's, it, I wouldn't want the easy any easier. Like I wouldn't want it dumbed down where it's making stupid mistakes. It's not making mistakes. It's just not as nuanced as what it could be, I guess. And so as you improve, easy is a, easy for me is a good level um, to play. It's probably more normal, uh, normal sort of level than anything else. But this is actually where, that was really quite cool. We can view the board. I'm guessing we can now sort of see what they had. No, we still can't, can we? Look at the cards. No, we still can't see. That would be cool if we if we could see everything but we get to see their discards and their trash anyway um but it would be nice actually the play area is not going to show anything anyway because it's the start of a new round does it show anything in their deck yeah it'd be nice to see the the actual cards that they had um that would just for you know to be able to sort of see what everyone's actually got like the three cards that he's got in there as well um yeah he had been a jesuit alliance um yeah so we had a couple of alliances there both the uh, Fremen and also the Emperor. Anyway, it's a really cool game. A uh, really, really cool game. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments, I guess, if you if you like this sort of stuff. But um, it's uh, it yeah, it's one of those things, one of these games that I've, I'm really, really impressed with. I can see why it rates so highly on Steam. Um, and uh, I hope the launch goes incredibly well for this game. And I hope that they do get to bring in more of those expansion packs uh, at later times for the game as well. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.